My name is Bethany and this is A Fae in the Life. Today we are going on another cruise. We're going to be cruising on the Carnival Liberty. It's a three day to Bimini and tomorrow is my birthday. So it is my birthday celebration cruise. So we're really excited. We're about to get in the car and head over to pick up my parents so we can go to the port. And Kennedy is ready in her cruising outfit. Her shirt says, take me to the sea. And she is ready to go. Like I said, we were gonna pick my parents up in our car, but the suitcases didn't fit. So we swapped, went in their car, and Brandon, Kennedy, and I crammed in the back seat as we made our way to the port. We are at Terminal 3 this time, but on the way to that terminal, we got to see one of the Disney ships and then the Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas. And Terminal 3 is the new terminal they built for uh, the Carnival Mardi Gras, and the Liberty was docked there today. Here we go. Say hi. We are making our way into the terminal. Now, apparently you're not allowed to film, so we did our uh, lineup where they have the drug dogs come and sniff everybody's luggage and then checked in with our passports and then took our cute little boarding photo for the Liberty and then made our way up the gangplank. And here is the boat. Very excited, Kennedy. And when you come onto the boat, you come onto deck three and then go right into the lobby area, which is extremely similar to the Freedom uh, that we went on last October. They kind of directed us to go to the fourth floor because that's where the muster stations are. And of course they want you to do your self mustering uh, as soon as possible, as soon as you get on the boat, because that does delay us leaving. But here's just our view of the lobby with everyone coming in, getting everything set up the beautiful glass elevators that we get lots of use out of because it's one thing that Kennedy really enjoys. But we went ahead and made our way to our muster station. We were muster station G all the way at the end of the boat. So we did that and then we made our way up to the Lido buffet just to have a quick little lunch. We pretty much spend the first day walking around the ship, exploring, getting used to the lay of the land. Liberty and Freedom are sister ships, so they are pretty much the same layout. So we kind of had our bearings right away when we got on. The one thing Brandon wanted to do right when we got on was get a guy's burger meal. So we went over there and grabbed burgers for ourselves. We got the ringer. Um, he added bacon to his. They were delicious as always. Highly recommend guys. My parents got stuff off the Lido buffet and here they are being cute. <laughs> and then this was our view from where we were sitting in the dining room. We had the faster to the fun upgrade so we could go to our room and drop our bags off early. So we headed up to deck seven to drop our bags off. And when we got there, we had a fun surprise since we were going on the cruise for my birthday. My parents bought the birthday decor. So when we got in there, they had a little birthday whiteboard and then the birthday decorations hanging up. I got a happy birthday pillowcase and also my brother-in-law and sister got me a cherry on top cookie jar and a unicorn friend. And then here's the birthday lanyard and clip for our key cards. And then here is the bathroom for the room. We had a balcony room again. So this was the view from our balcony since we are still in port. And then, like I said before, we went ahead and explored the ship. So we were in the glass elevators again. We found our way to the arcade, which we spent a lot of time here. We always enjoy playing the games and Kennedy likes to do the duck machine. We didn't have very good luck finding a lot of ducks, at least in the beginning of our cruising adventure. So we ended up going to the duck claw machine so she could get some ducks early on. But they have a fun little arcade. It's good if you have kids. It's not huge, but I think it has a good balance of games that everybody can enjoy. 
they have your typical like sports ones like the basketball hoops or the baseball one they have air hockey they have some ride on games and you do get tickets which you can cash in and then they have a little prize box that you can pick out your little prizes at the end the piano bar was near the arcade so we went and looked in there we had good luck on the freedom finding little ducks in there hidden in the piano keys but no luck this time this is the lounge where they do the comedy shows and they also did the Build-A-Bear experience in here which you'll see later on. But the lounge is really big, it holds a lot of people and for the comedy shows it was definitely packed. Next door to that was the stage lounge. We never see anyone in here. Of course we're not out really at night very late. I guess when the party is happening, but we were looking for ducks in here and did not find any there. They also have like the nightclub as well uh, that's nearby. And so we checked that out. You can actually see it from inside the arcade. So these kids were saying hi as I was filming. This was the Silver Olympian dining room and it is very pretty. We ended up having brunch in here, uh, but our assigned dining room was actually the Golden Olympian, which is this one. And that was for the anytime dining or my time dining. So that is where we had dinner every night. This is the theater. They were doing the embarkation presentations. And then we found the library because we were looking for library books for Kennedy. When we were on the Freedom, we found some Dr. Seuss books that we could bring back to the room and then return at the end of the trip, but they did not have any this time. We made our way up to the Camp Ocean area, which is where the kids clubs are that they hang out in during the cruise. They have a little hidden playground back there. So she got to run around in that area a little bit. It's nice because it has been so hot here in Florida and they have it all shaded really nicely. So it was a nice like break from walking around out in the open on the ship. She got to play around a little bit, do her thing. Ready? Whee! <laughs> they also have a cool game area outside of the playground area where they have ping pong and foosball. And so there are some people enjoying that as well. And then we just took some pictures up here on the deck area, just walking around, enjoying the view before we set sail. And it was a beautiful day, but so hot. So anytime we could get in the shade, we were. This guy was out here playing music for everyone on the pool deck. Of course, people are already lounging around and enjoying the pool and trying to keep cool today. Kennedy got a kick out of the seafood station, having the crabs and fish up there. And then it was time to set sail. So we had the little tender boats and the sheriff escorting us out of the port and out into the Atlantic. This was taken from our balcony room. So we just sat there and hung out together and watched the land slip away. And Kennedy was very excited. She wanted to sing a going away song. We went ahead and did our dinner in the dining room. Uh, tonight was casual and Kennedy got chicken nuggets and fries with pasta of the day. Brandon got the corn chowder and fried calamari. I got the roasted veggie lasagna and the strawberry bisque which literally tastes like melted strawberry ice cream. It's so good. Brandon got chicken parm and the beef tips. My dad got strip loin steak. My mom got the mahi. And I got the sweet and sour shrimp. Kennedy got a banana split, which she was very proud of. My mom got a fruit plate and the tiramisu. Brandon got the carnival melting cake. And I got just strawberry ice cream and their strawberry cream dessert. 
After dinner, we headed up to go to the mini golf course. It was so windy. It was really hard to keep the ball on the course. So I didn't play this time. I watched them play because there was another family playing as well. So we didn't want to take up too much room, but Brandon was helping her out. And like I said, the wind was so bad that we could not get the ball to stay still, but it was a fun time. She wanted to do mini golf and so I, she was happy that we did that. The next morning we arrived in Bimini. We had the boat guiding us into port. This was actually my birthday. Brandon got me this cruising on my birthday shirt so I got to wear that for today. And we went to brunch in the Silver Olympian dining room. Kennedy got Lucky Charms. I got this delicious yogurt parfait. It had dates, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds. It was really delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. Kennedy got hash browns and ham, and I got the vanilla French toast with a caramelized banana and eggs benedict, which is one of my favorite meals. Brandon also got the French toast, and then he got hash browns and bacon. After brunch, we walked around. The casino, of course, was closed because we were going into port, but got to kind of walk around through there. And it was nice because nobody was in there smoking yet. It is the one place on board where you are allowed to smoke. Once we were in Bimini and allowed to get off the boat, we went ahead and did so. They had these cool little fish in the water and as always in the Caribbean, I'm so pleasantly surprised at how beautiful the water is. It's so much clearer than it is back home in Florida. But we got a few pictures of the boat docked in port. We had to ride a tram to get to the main area of Bimini. So Kennedy was a little unhappy about having to get on the tram. Kennedy was upset about us having to sit separately on the tram. Like me and her were together and Brandon was separate. So some nice ladies offered us their seats so we could sit all together. And then she calmed down after that. But we took our little ride on the tram to the resort world. We didn't buy passes or anything for that and that was the first couple stops and then we went to Fisherman's Village which is kind of their little area for souvenirs and they have a bar, they have a bunch of yachts docked there in the marina and so we just walked around there. There really was not much at all in Bimini unless you were doing an excursion or going to the beach. So we didn't really feel like going to the beach. The one thing Kennedy wanted to do was go in the pool on the boat. So we walked around Fisherman's Village, took some nice pictures. And then we got back on the tram and headed back to the boat. And here you can see just how long it was if we had had to walk that. So we made our way back to the boat. We went to the pool. I didn't have my phone in the water, of course, but Kennedy had a great time in the pool. And we went to the little one that's hidden kind of underneath the water slide. And I guess it's more for kids. It's not very big, but it was nice because it was right there in the shade and we got to stay in the pool for a while because not many people were on the boat. So after that, we went back to our room and we had our first Tao animal friend, a puppy. Kennedy loved that. And we got dressed and cleaned up from the pool and went exploring through the rest of the boat. And port days are always really nice because nothing is packed. Everybody's off the boat, so you kind of get the boat to yourself. So we ended up going up to the sport court and Brandon wanted to show off his mad basketball skills. I'm still waiting for them, <laughs> but Kennedy found a soccer ball. So she was kicking that around and we were just having a good time. And Brandon was determined that he was going to get a shot in before we left. So to be fair, it was very windy again up there. So he had some difficulty. Kennedy here is doing amazing getting the soccer ball in the goal. Let's go see if Brandon manages to get a shot in. Oh, so close. There it is. He's so proud of himself. 
After that, we went and grabbed some pizza. I forgot to take a picture of mine, but I got the mushroom pizza, which was delicious. Kennedy and Brandon shared the cheese. We got some food from Mongolian Walk and I got a salad from the Lido Buffet. We then went and walked around the boat and Kennedy was playing hide and seek. For dinner that night, we saw Elvis in the lobby. Somebody dressed up for formal night as Elvis. And then of course we took all the photos on formal night. Kennedy was over the photos by the time we got this one of us on the stairs. So that's why she's making a silly face. Our dinner was delicious. It was the elegant night dinner for my birthday, no less. So I got the mushroom bisque and Brandon got the blackened pork tart shrimp cocktail and dad got fried oysters. Brandon got this meatball soup with pumpkin, which he said was really good. My mom got the garlic shrimp and striped bass. I also got the garlic shrimp and prime rib and then loaded up my potato with all the toppings and got the au jus gravy on there as well. My dad got the salmon and we got creme brulee for dessert, which is one of my favorite favorites on the boat. After dinner, we went to the early show, which was like a rock concert type theme. So that was actually really good. And here are a couple clips from the show. What'd you find? A duck. After the show, we went wandering around and Kennedy found her first Yay. duck. The next morning, we dressed Kennedy up in her Thing 2 outfit so we could head over to the Dr. Seuss breakfast. Kennedy, where are we going today? Where are you all dressed up for? Dr. Seuss breakfast. Yay. They always do such a lovely job and it's always so nicely decorated and set up in here. They have ice sculptures, they have the tables done up, they have these stand-ups of all the characters and it's really fun for the kids and to be honest for us as adults too. It's cute. Kennedy, like I said the night before, was really over having pictures but managed to sneak a couple of her here at the table. They brought everybody the berry schlop yogurt parfait and then thing one and thing two came in and they brought us the rest of our breakfast which Kennedy got green eggs and ham. My dad got steak and eggs. Brandon and Kennedy got the berry waffles. My mom got eggs and sausage and hash browns. I got an omelet made my way and the cereal crusted French toast, which is really good. The cat and hat came out after thing one and thing two and my parents went and got pictures since Kennedy wouldn't. Next came Sam I Am and they do a whole little song and dance. It's really cute, they have a fun time. And again, my parents went and took a picture. And then we're the weird family that has no children in the picture, the professional picture. And then my mom had her eyes closed. Kennedy did amuse us and she took a picture with grandma in the thing one and thing two cutout. After breakfast, we went to the Dr. Seuss story time and they bring in a cat and hat, leaves all of the kids in that went to the Seussapalooza parade. We did that last time on the Freedom and it was just too loud for Kennedy, all the kids screaming and everything. So we just skipped that and went straight to the story time instead. So they all come in and then they were doing Horton Here's a Who. This is what I mean. They proved they are persons no matter how small. And the whole world was saved by the smallest of all. Oh, how true. Yes, how true, said the big kangaroo. And from now on, you know what I'm planning to do? From now on, I'm going to protect them with you. And the young kangaroo now out there, me too. From sun in the summer, from rain when it's fallish, I'm going to protect them no matter how smallish. Everybody say, ah. Oh. 
our cruise director Adam was reading the story so that was really cute we didn't do this on our last cruise so Kennedy really enjoyed it when we got back to our room we had our next towel creation which was a flower and then we stopped and had lunch I got a taco at blue iguana cantina and forgot to take a picture until I had eaten almost all of it but it was delicious and then today was our sea day so just some shots of the ocean i love the color of the wake when we are sailing this was from our balcony again since we had gone back to the room to relax here's kennedy with all of the ducks that she had found so far or gotten in the arcade and then shortly after that was time for tea Grandma's a big tea drinker and Kennedy and her have been playing tea party at her house. So Kennedy was pretty excited to have a real tea party. They had a bunch of little small bites. So they had salmon on toast. They had this lemon cake with a coffee macaron. They had peach cobbler and this apple chocolate tart. And then of course scones and clotted cream. We left Kennedy with my parents at the tea party so we could go to a comedy show, which of course you can't film, but we did that and then we had to leave the lounge and wait in line for the Build-A-Bear, which was actually a good thing because they hand out numbers as you come in the door. So of course the earlier numbers, you get the first pick of all of the animals. So we picked up an extra heart so that we could make one for Jackson and I picked a penguin for him and Kennedy picked out her rainbow kitty cat. So you pick them out, you put your heart in there and then you have them stuffed. They do a heart ceremony before you get started and you take the little heart and I don't remember all of it, but it's really cute. You hold it to your head to give it your smarts and you hold it to your heart to give it love. Touch it to your toe because they'll totally have your back. Like it was just a bunch of cute little things. And then after they are stuffed, you can go over here and pick out an outfit. We did that. Then once they are stuffed and you pick out whatever accessories you want, you go to the back and they close the opening and tie it up for you real good so that all of their stuffing doesn't come out. Like I said, we got Jackson a penguin and got him some board shorts and Kennedy picked out a rainbow kitty cat and got her a little unicorn narwhal shirt and Kennedy named her kitty cat Purr and Jackson will have to decide on a name for his penguin when we get home. We went back to the room and got changed for dinner. We got the dill comfort soup, which is delicious. We got the fried shrimp, marinated chicken tenders, Cobb salad. I didn't care for anything on the dinner menu, so I ordered the sushi boat for myself. Brandon got the braised short ribs. My parents got the salmon. Brandon also got country fried chicken. My mom did the carnival melting cake with peanut butter and I got baked Alaska. After dinner, we went to the early show again, and this time it was a celebration of how all of Carnival's employees come from all over the world, and it just was a celebration of everyone and where they come from. They also had the kids come in from Camp Ocean, but after the show, we just headed back to our room, and then that was it. Kennedy ended up getting 22 ducks. We also found these cool flip-flop ornaments. We overall had a wonderful time. I feel like it was too short. We definitely need to do a longer cruise. Our honeymoon was a seven day cruise and I feel like we are due for another long one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and cruising with us this weekend on the Carnival Liberty for my birthday. I do have another cruise video where we went on the Freedom last October. You can check that out by hitting the eye up above or checking the link in the description below. As always, thanks for hanging out and this time thanks for cruising with us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!